We uh, were the nation's first publicly funded residential high school focused on STEM, and we opened in 1980. There's been, uh, I think there are 11 states now that have schools that were modeled after us, and so we are a school where we attract talented students who are interested in the STEM fields from all over the state of North Carolina. For example, we have 91 of North Carolina's 100 counties represented in enrollment in our residential and online programs now. And so students, they apply uh, in their 10th grade year, they matriculate in their 11th and spend 11th and 12th grade here at NCSSM get a diploma and 100% move on to university. We also have programs where we serve students through our extended programs. We have an online program where we have 350 students in our online program, 680 are in our residential program, and we also teach students uh, in partnership with high schools across the state through interactive video conference where we offer mostly high-level STEM courses that they might not have access to in their home communities. You know, the fact that this school was set up to serve kids all over North Carolina and providing them what is, I believe, the best high school education in the country, regardless of their zip code, regardless of their family's ability to pay, really resonated with me. We are really fortunate to have outstanding faculty and staff here. To be hired to teach at the school, you have to have a master's degree in the area in which you teach. Um, and, and many, about 30, 35 percent of our faculty have their doctorate in those areas. We're also fortunate being a part of the university system. You know, the faculty are able to teach courses that you are much more likely to find on a university campus, courses ranging from um, you know, multivariable calculus to organic chemistry to um, you know mechanical engineering. The fact that we're a residential campus, the learning does not stop at 4.15 when class is in, so that learning environment is really almost a 24-7 uh, type of environment given the fact that we're a residential school. Recent economic impact study that we did points to about 60 percent of our alumni live and work in the state and contribute back over 500 million in annual economic impact to the state. For the state's investment, that's a really good return. Rhiannon Giddens, who's well-known singer of Carolina Chocolate Drops fame and now Grammy nominee, and she's an alum of here. A current astronaut who is in the, the Mars program, Christina Hammock Koch, is one of our alumni. And a number of successful entrepreneurs have come out of here, and many actually started companies while they were here. We have a very creative student body and, and they put that to, to good use. Just recently, this student had on their own time built a drone and the student was flying the, the drone and had taken some great aerial footage of, of the campus. We were set up to serve students from all over the state of North Carolina, so we have a, a great diversity in, in many ways on campus, both geographically, racially, ethnically. Those things combine to create a very unique institution that I think it's a combination of the fact that they have a group of students that's talented and motivated like them, that they're able to you know, become a part of a, a close community that helps push them farther than they may have gone individually. I think that plus the, the quality of faculty that we have, we we're able to offer opportunities for learning for these high school students that in many cases they, they won't find anywhere else in the country. The combination of those things I think is what makes the school uh, unique and special.